What's up guys, we're down here at Waikiki. I had this idea to get a free healing prayer sign made. So uh, I got this sign made at a printing shop. And um, and we prayed and, and we asked God what he wanted to heal. And so I, we got this easel board and got some easel board paper and we wrote down the things that God might want to heal tonight. So we're just gonna go, you know, set up our chairs and our little sign and our easel board and sit there and see what happens you know i don't know if anyone will come i don't know if uh one two maybe no one maybe ten i don't know i hope thousands i guess i don't know what's gonna happen but uh we'll keep you guys posted this is the uh this is the first night we did it's a wednesday night about nine o'clock p.m all right god bless you guys Setup. Got the signs. Mickey's hanging out there. Here's the uh, the hotel where we did our uh, where we had our honeymoon at. So we just finished doing the free healing prayers in Waikiki and uh, it was a lot of fun. We're going to do individual testimonies here in a minute, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. Well, tonight was the, technically the second time that I've done this. The first time was when I had just met RK and I had gone to something with his church and we had to separate into groups and do this. Spiritual but that was spiritual readings. But still, it was very similar. But anyway, I had a lot of fun doing street um, healing time. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So I had a really great time tonight. Um, one of the things that happened was these. There were these two. Um, young prostitutes and they were just kind of walking around in front of where we were set up and you know they kind of were looking and whispering and looking and whispering and, and RK was like well do you want prayer and um, and they said yeah or one of them said yes the other one was like oh that's that God stuff oh. but um, so she sat down next to me and I started praying and just thanking God that He loves her and wants her to be better. And um, when I prayed for her uh, afterwards, she said that, she was like, I felt it, I felt it while she was praying. She said um, that she could actually, it felt like she was, like the pain was like lifting off of her feet. And um, so that was really cool. And, <laughs> and then she asked me if I was an angel and I was like, no, I just serve. I just serve God. I work with angels, though. <laughs> so we just finished the first night of doing the free healing prayers, and at first it was like no one was coming, and I was like, "Oh man, this isn't gonna work," and I was kind of bummed. And then uh, one of the things on our board said. Uh, said pain and that big toe on your right foot and the joint and uh, one guy stopped with this family he goes yeah, yeah I actually have pain in my big toe will you pray for me and uh, so he sat down and I just prayed for him real quickly and he goes whoa I felt like a jolt and uh, he, he was kind of like he stood up and he's like does that happen does that always happen I was like, ah, you know, it happens sometimes. And I was like, well, check your toe, see how it's doing. And he goes, he checks his toe, and he's like, yeah, it's actually better. And uh, he walks away, and he sends his son over with $20. And, and I'm like, man, we're doing this for free. It's free healing prayers, you know. And, and uh, you know, he kept on trying to give us money, and we finally gave it back. And then uh, and what the, the thing Lique said about the, the prostitutes. I've been doing street evangelism down there for years and years. I, I used to go almost every week 
taking groups down there doing street evangelism and I've tried and I've prayed and I've never actually been able to talk with the with any of the prostitutes they were always if you give you a cold shoulder they don't want to hear what you guys say or you just they they were never approachable and and the awesome thing about this is they came up to us and there was like there was no walls up they were they were talking about their lives they were talking about how they're going back to church and they'd never been there for five years and and it was just it just blew me away that they came to us with their guard down and we could just you know we could just you know release the love of God over them and and uh, the fact that they actually got touched was awesome so so we're, we're definitely going to go do this more and and we'll keep on bringing you more video clips from whatever happens and we thank you guys for praying for us because the more the more we have prayer over this, I know the more effective it's going to be. So keep praying for us and we'll keep you updated. God bless you.